Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford F-150. This F-150 Lariat is finished in space white, which is a pretty rare color for the F-150. This is also a 502A package, so it's the highest spec Lariat that is available. Now starting at front here, we do have your full LED headlights. They are adaptive as well, so they do, they do bend. And we also do have your LED fog lights down there with your front parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper with your black recovery hooks. And we do have these 20 inch gray painted aluminum wheels on a 275-60 hand-cooked Dynapro tire. This is also a optional tire for the Lariat trim. And there's your badge right on the side there. And we also do have these full three Three, uh, 360 degree camera on the bottom of your mirror. These mirrors are also fully power operated as well as power fold. We do get your LED spotlight on the side. And standard on Lariat, we do get the black platform running boards. We'll give you a look at the window sticker. This one is just about $76,600. This truck is a sold unit. And those prices are in Canadian uh, dollars, so just keep that in mind. We do have the FX4 package on this particular truck with your power sliding rear window. And we do have these full LED taillights with the blind spot system uh, integrated in the back there as well. You have your parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper there. And your F-150 badge stamped right into the back of the tailgate. As well as a class four trailer hitch with four and seven pin connectors. Your reverse camera, as well as your LED light there. <clears throat> we do have the tailgate step on this particular F-150 with the tailgate work surface and just your standard 120 volt uh, outlet in the bed with the LED box lighting. Now stepping inside of this F-150 Lariat, we do have an Intelligent Access door handle right there, as well as the door entry keypad. And all Lariats do come standard with full leather seating uh, with the uh, black, sort of black reddish uh, piping there in the seat and sort of accented along the door here. This is all nice soft touch material on the door. And we do have your power window controls with your drive or your uh, front one touch automatic with your power mirrors and the power fold feature right there, as well as three way memory seat. Lots of storage in the door. And this particular F-150 does have the Bang & Olufsen Unleashed uh, audio system. So you do get additional speakers in the headliner as well as the headrest there as well. And to the left of the steering wheel, you do have your automatic headlight controls with your fog lights right there in the middle, your LED mirror spotlight, your tailgate release, as well as your bed lights and your power adjustable pedals. Now this is the key to this specific F-150 Lariat. We do have the intelligent access key fob with remote start, as well as the tailgate release there. That key is standard on all Lariat models. We do have push button start. This particular F-150 does have the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6. It's paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Makes about 325 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Now starting here on the steering wheel. The steering wheel is uh, fully leather wrapped. With uh, is also heated as well. We do get sort of a nice gray accent stitching on there on the inside. Um, but we do have our adaptive cruise control settings with our lanes, uh, lane centering there. Volume controls as well as your uh, controls for your center gauge cluster screen. As well as your, some of your phone and track settings there. And we can scroll through a whole bunch of stuff in this gauge cluster. It's fully digital. And uh, we can scroll through. So we have a My View setting. We can also go through our trip and fuel. We can go through trips one and two. And some of our driver assistance features. Or we can go into truck info. So we'll find some of our tire pressures. Also our off-road status power distribution, engine information, which includes our 
intelligent oil life monitor, seatbelt indicators. We also have a towing section. So we can actually go through here and we can actually run a trailer light check. So it'll actually run through all the lights in the trailer to make sure they're all working properly. We can set up trailer tire information. We have navigation, phone, audio, and some more other various settings in here as well. And moving here to the middle, we do have Ford's 12 inch Sync 4 display. This is a standard on Lariat. This is a fantastic screen. Um, Ford did a great job with this for sure. Um, I just want to change the uh, display just so we can see it a little bit easier. There we go. You can change the, uh, the mode for day and night just to be a little easier on the eyes. Um, so this is our home screen here. We can uh, view two different things. So we have our audio over here and we have our navigation over here. Or we could click this button right here and we could change this. So say if we want a uh, bed camera, we can actually click, click this. Now it'll uh, give us a preview of what's in the bed, which is pretty cool. Or we can use maybe zone lighting, off-road. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here we can do. We can pull up our trip information. And it's fully customizable for each screen here. So we can go into audio and we can view our Sirius XM radio. This is where I set up a Bluetooth phone. We also do have navigation here. This is certainly helpful. We can pull up navigation. We can also have our audio here at the same time. And this is a hotkey setting. So we can actually put something here that we maybe use more often uh, than others. So maybe we use the vehicle hotspot more, or maybe we use the zone lighting more. So we can put it down here for easier access. And we do have various apps like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and other various settings in here as well. Valet mode. We still have personal profiles. Personal profiles actually is pretty neat. Um, you can actually assign a key to a specific person and the vehicle will remember the key and it'll keep all of the settings uh, in your F-150 for that specific key, uh, including the seats, the steering wheel, also some of your sound settings and uh, your mirrors. We can go into features and we can change some of our driver assistance systems. We have cruise control, uh, lane keep assist, pre-collision assist, blind spot system, crash traffic alert, brake assist. Lots of good stuff in there. We also do have zone lighting. Zone lighting is a pretty cool feature that was introduced for the 2021 model year F-150. Um, this is basically a lighting system that allows you to light up different areas around your F-150. Um, it's helpful when you're at like a campsite or something. You can use this to light up the path around you. Um, so we click, we can light up each zone like this, or we can click all. You might be able to see it, the light's turning on and off as I'm clicking all. So it's pretty neat that Ford incorporates that. And we do have a towing section. Uh, this is a little more options than you would find in your gauge cluster, but this is where you would add a trailer in. And again, you can run your trailer light check, or you can also run a connection checklist to make sure your trailer's hooked up properly as well. We have a digital copy of the owner's manual there as well. And we do have the Bang & Olufsen Unleashed Premium Audio System, so we do get a center channel speaker right there. We have a 360 degree camera, which is optional on Lariat. So we can run through a whole bunch of cameras. We have a 360 view, or sorry, front view with a 360 view. Or we can go front view. We can also do a panoramic front view. We also do have a camera in the bed. And uh, we also have a, an auxiliary camera. So you can actually get a dealer installed uh, camera and attach it to the back of your trailer so you can actually see behind your trailer. We have a tow hitch view. It's helpful when you're hooking up a trailer. And we also do have your standard backup camera there as well. We have your parking sensors. You can turn those on or off. Hazard lights, traction control, and your hill descent control, which comes with the FX4 package. We have your pro trailer backup assist, trailer brake controller, and your four wheel drive settings. So this is a Lariat. So Lariats do come with the four automatic setting, which is basically a all wheel drive, a four all wheel drive setting. It uh, keeps it in four-wheel drive for you, but it applies power to the front when it thinks it needs it. We do have a locking rear differential right there in the middle. We have various drive modes as well in this F-150. Because we do have the uh, digital gauge cluster, it actually changes the gauge cluster based on each drive mode. So we have normal, 
slippery. And it'll actually change the uh, four wheel drive settings based on that specific drive mode. Deep snow and sand, mud and ruts, and also rock crawl. Rock crawl is a, is a uh, additional drive mode that you get with the FX4 package. Then we can go back and we have tow haul, eco, and also sport mode there as well. And moving down, we standard on Lariat, we do have the dual zone automatic climate control with heated and cooled seats, as well as a heated steering wheel there as well. And here we do have the shifter for the 10 speed automatic transmission, a nice wireless charging pad there with some USB ports. And again, we get that nice accent, uh, sort of brown, red um, accent there on the glove box, as well as on top of the dash and on the doors. And up top, we do have controls for your panoramic sunroof, which is optional on Lariat, as well as your power sliding rear window. Now hopping into the back seat of this Super Crew F-150 Lariat, we do have the five and a half foot bed, so it's actually the shorter uh, bed length option. Again, we carry, you have that uh, nice black leather seat, does carry to the back seat with that brown piping there. And we do have also some you know, gray accent stitching, uh, very nice on the Lariat trim. And we do have uh, rear heated seats for the outer seats only, uh, 12 volt, as well as a 120 volt outlet there, and some USB ports, USB-C and USB-A. We have some rear climate vents, as well as some cup holders. And we do get a fold down center console with some uh, cup holders in there. We also do get a, these seats also do fold up as well. Um, so you do get a nice flat load surface here. This particular truck hasn't been through a detail shop, so there's still some uh, floor mats waiting to be put in in this particular F-150. Yeah, so we do get a nice flat load surface. Uh, you can also option in lockable storage, uh, which is an option on F-150. We do get a nice view of that panoramic center back there as well. But unfortunately, this F-150 is a sold unit, but if you're interested in getting one just like this, Feel free to give us a call or visit mefeed4.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.